In today's video, I would like to show you how to make a fettuccine alfredo. Let's make it. Uh, all you need is hot water, uh, some uh, whipping cream. So this is a 33% uh, whipping cream. Just like it. Add your whipping cream inside the pot. You warm up your pot, you make it hot a little bit, and then you just add your whipping cream in it. This fettuccine alfredo I'm making, is that's how they make it at the restaurant, inside the Italian restaurant, and the restaurant that you go and then you buy the dish for like 20 bucks, 30 bucks. So you will save some money if you make it at home. Right. Um, I already uh, put some hot water here to boil. It's boiling right now, almost. Uh, so you add some oil in it for your pasta to not stick together oh what time is it uh, it's 11:28. Uh, and you should add some salt the salt will make your water to boil faster and uh, because of the pasta doesn't have salt inside it right so you need this little bit salty and as you see, uh, my whipped cream is boiling, start boiling. You need to wait for it and reduce the, like uh, make it, make the sauce a little bit uh, harder. It's soft right now. It's like a milk, but uh, you want it to be like a sauce, like an actual sauce. And you have to keep eye on it. If you have a small fry pan, uh, you need to keep eye on it for because it's going to boil like milk, right? It will come out. Perfect. Now, as you see, the hot water is boiling. Uh, you just need to add the fettuccine. I got this fettuccine. And then on my diet, but you can enjoy it there. Fettuccine I'm making for you, baby. Uh, some people add the butter inside the cream right away, but uh, I don't. Uh, I'll make my sauce first and then at the end because it, this is already cream. It's a very strong and heavy dish. And then you add some salt inside your cream as you see the sauce is uh, getting thicker and thicker and thicker I'll show you how to taste it when you want to know if it's ready or not but it's not ready I'll like it a little bit harder so you wait now you see when I put my spoon down the sauce is not filling up the space right away that means the sauce is getting there and also if you want to try you can touch your sauce and then see it's like a thick you can use it on a spoon and see how it is so basically now our sauce is ready some people do add the parmesan cheese in it but uh, I don't think so. It's a good idea because if you add the parmesan right now, it will become a sticky and it, it just melt down and it just chewy. It become chewy and your parmesan will stick together. So the best option is you need. If you want to add parmesan, you can add it at the end, which I will show you. All right, now our pasta is ready. I'm just gonna drain it inside the strainer. If you don't want to use it right away, you must uh, just put it inside the tray and then uh, add some oil in it. Now I'm going to add the fettuccine inside the sauce. And now, this is the most important part. 
you have to go gentle and also when it starts mixing again don't put the don't put your parmesan cheese till the last minute i usually i don't even put it inside the pot uh, but butter is the great flavor it's already like it has like so much uh, oil in it because you're using a whipped cream but the butter does a great job to the fettuccine if you want to get a good flavor the butter oh we call it the magic the butter is the magic uh, some some people add uh, mushroom inside their fettuccine some people add chicken breast you can definitely do that for the mushroom you need to saute it and uh, cook it fry it inside the oil and then uh, it will be good to go uh, but we are not adding anything this is a vegetarian dish as well it's not vegan because we're using uh, butter but no meats in here I also forgot to mention that you need your uh, fire to be high uh, you need the high temperature and now our fettuccine is ready let's put it in the dish it's 11:52. Uh, and for your dishing it uh, you just twist it and then put it all in the middle it's too much And to the end, you will add some Parmesan on it. Our fettuccine alfredo is ready. If you like it, leave us a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy!